Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Giddon in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I just want to come to you today, uh, the 30th of January. We're almost out of January now. The 30th of January 2020. Uh, I want, uh, it's been on my heart, this uh, coronavirus uh, thing that's going around. Started in China, as you all know. But I want to come from a biblical perspective because, you know, we are in the time of the end. And just before the Messiah returns, there will be signs, brothers and sisters. There will be signs uh, that will let you know that the time uh, of the return of Christ is at hand. You know, that Yah is sending the Son to gather his people. But I believe that some of us are not, not everybody, this is not for everybody, but some of us are not uh, prophetically at the place where we should be and therefore uh, we can miss various signs. Now, the coronavirus that is going around, brothers and sisters, that has started in, uh, in China, my take on it, uh, according to the revelation in my spirit, this is a signal to wake up the country of China. Because as you know that uh, in China, you know, uh, they worship different gods. And uh, Christianity, or what should I say Christianity? Christianity, you know. But uh, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, he is not the forefront or the forerunner in that country. And you see, it is not God's will for any, for any man, for that any man should perish, but all should come to the, to the knowledge of Christ. So I believe that this virus, especially in, in China, is to wake up the people of China. Because sometimes people are saved. The Bible said, Paul, the Apostle Paul says that people are saved through fear, brothers and sisters. And sometimes destructions and all these little things has to happen. Uh, to wake up people but equally I want to show you that we are in the beginning of sorrows because St. Matthew 24 if I can find it I think I'll put it in here that's Revelations St. Matthew just bear with me St. Matthew right so St. Matthew uh, 24 and verse 7 this is what Jesus says because you have to remember that the disciples went on, went to Jesus Christ privately, went to, uh, you know, to the, the, to the son of God privately, the Messiah, and basically said, tell us the sign for your coming. And one of the things that we ought to look out for as believers that we ought to watch for is a uh, uh, pestilence. St. Matthew 24 and verse 7, hear what Christ says. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and, watch this, pestilences. Okay? Pestilence. Now, the coronavirus, uh, when the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about this, he, the, the, the Lord calls this pestilence. It, that's what it is. It's a plague. <laughs> It's a plague, it's a pestilence, brothers and sisters, aka a super bug. You know, that, that is what it is. So our Lord has, has have already pointed out that we should look for these things. So when you see these things like coronavirus, Ebola, uh, HIV, AIDS, and all these things, brothers and sisters, you must begin to rub up your gear. You must begin to rub up your prophetic knowledge and, and get into the word and understand that we are in the end. We are in the end times, brothers and sisters. And these are all the signs. I can't, I, you know, I personally cannot believe that a child of God can see all these signs happening around them and still believe that we're not in the end. Just because it's not happening in your neck of the woods doesn't mean that biblical prophecies are not being fulfilled so the coronavirus it is a plague brothers and sisters it's a pestilence that's what it is uh you know the holy spirit calls it superbug 
that's what that's what the spirit of the most high calls it it is a super bug and yes as i said it started out in china it could start it anywhere in the world but it so happened that's in china because god is grace god is gracious he is merciful brothers and sisters and he is waking up the country of china so china you have to wake up you must wake up you know because there is a god and he is real the most high is real and he loves you but if you continue to ignore him then judgment is at your door the bible says that uh, all the nations that have forgotten God will be turned over into hell. But there is time. And so therefore this coronavirus, brothers and sisters, uh, it, as I said before, I wanted to come to you from a biblical perspective that we that you must begin to wake up now that we are in the beginning of sorrows. Because this is what Jesus calls it. Jesus, after, after the Lord our God, uh, talks about the earthquakes in diverse places. He went on to say all these things are the beginning of sorrows, brothers and sisters, the beginning of sorrows. So the body of the Messiah, we have to wake up. We have to wake up and pay attention. We have to wake up and pay attention to the things that is going on around us. Now, uh, in sorry in uh revelations right in revelation chapter 6 and verse 8 it talks about the pale horse okay <laughs> it talks about the pale horse now some people are saying this coronavirus is a pale horse uh no it's not the pale horse it is not the pale horse because for the pale horse to come you've got to go through the white the red the black and whatever all those signs before you reach the pale horse now when the pale horse is released okay this is the the four horse of the apocalypse um the four horse the four horses uh of revelation 6 uh of the that the lord talks about okay or the six seals now in Revelation 8, in Revelation 6 and verse 8, it says, And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him uh, was death, and hell followed him, and power was given unto them over the four parts of the earth to kill with the sword, with the fat, with the hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth. Okay? So when uh the fourth uh the fourth seal or the, the fourth horse is open up brothers and sisters it's not just one tiny area this is going to affect the whole entire world will be affected through death famine hunger and with the beast with the beasts of the earth with our animals beasts okay it's not the antichrist the beast of the earth so uh, Revelation 6 and verse 8 is not in effect yet. We are just at the beginning of sorrows, brothers and sisters. This is where we are, the beginning of sorrows. And all of this, Revelation 6, this is really the, the great tribulation that the word is talking about. And brothers and sisters, when we enter, we have, we're, we're, we have not entered it yet. But when we enter the great tribulation, I am telling you, I am telling you, it's going to be a time on earth that has never ever seen in human history. That is how bad this thing is going to be. But the Lord wants us to pay attention. This coronavirus, it is pestilence. It is part of St. Matthew. Okay, it is a part of St. Matthew 24 and verse, is it verse 8 or verse 7, whatever verse I read? um set matthew 24 okay and verse uh seven it is a part of that it is a part of st matthew 24 and in verse seven so i just wanted to do this video to let you know that we are in the beginning of sorrows that the church has to wake up 
you have to wake up and get into biblical prophecies okay and china it is you know it is sad that this is happening uh to to the to the country really really sad but at the same time you know you those those who are listening to me uh if you're not safe if you do not know the messiah if you do not know the son of god the most high the creator of the universe you've got to get to know him he, he, he loves you okay he loves you he's the only god buddha has no comparison to the lamb of god because he died on the cross uh he, he is the ultimate sacrifice he is the atonement of sin and so the coronavirus it is evil and it is very very wicked uh whether or not it is man-made is another thing in my spirit in my spirit i feel it's man-made i feel like the coronavirus brothers and sisters it is man-made uh but then again you know the lord can show signs so all we have to do is to be prayed up and to be anchored in the word of god okay and we know that the lord is wrapping things up we will continue to pray for you china we'll continue to lift you up in prayer lift up the country in prayer but at the same time you've got to uh seek the face of the most high because he's god almighty he's in control of everything of everything and you've got to seek him and give your hearts give your hearts to him so this plague really this pestilence uh it is a warning to you china simple as that's what it is it's simple as that it is a warning to you uh you've got to repent you must repent you must repent china you have to repent and and even so if you go to uh psalms 91 if you go to psalms 91 and you know it talks about pestilence as well because there's there's there are different types of pestilence okay you've got the demonics that walks in the darkness okay these are the fallen ones and whatever then you have the pestilence or the plane the literal sickness the literal and this is what we're seeing today the coronavirus is a superbug uh, it's a literal sickness. It is a pestilence. It's a plague, brothers and sisters. It is a plague, and we are in the beginning of big, the beginning of sorrow. So I wanted to come on a on a biblical perspective, uh, just to draw back your attention to what's happening because there's a lot of videos out there. I haven't watched them, and to be honest with you, brothers and sisters, I was speaking to a brother in the Lord uh, today. On, on Facebook he sent me something concerning the coronavirus and I said I don't I have not I have not opened up any news look into any newspaper read the news or anything like that concerning the coronavirus because I wanted the Holy Spirit to tell me uh, what's going on in the spiritual realm with this thing all right so now that i've done this video obviously i will go and i will read upon it in one of you but i wanted it fresh i didn't want to be contaminated by the media i wanted to come to you and bring it as it is in the spiritual realm and as i said it is a pestilence it is a plague it is part of saint matthew 24 verse 7 it really is saint matthew 24 and verse 7 or verse 8 one of those two it, it is it, the Lord the Holy Spirit directly brought me to that scripture and said this is it this is what's going on so we know that the Lord is wrapping things up brothers and sisters and as I said it's also a warning for China you know when there's earthquakes or volcanoes or hurricanes or whatever in other countries we're very quick to say you know to these countries you need to repent so why can't we say to china to repent why are we scared of china tell them to repent they need to repent they need god they need the messiah it is it is a warning and it is a sign to that country to that nation waking them up to go into repentance they have to repent they have to seek the face of the most high their governments won't help them 
the government, China government will not help them. But the person that will help them is the creator, is the Messiah. He's going to help them. But they need to repent. They need to acknowledge that he is. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. That he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last, the great I am, the ancients of days. Amen. So they, China needs to know that. And they need the gospel. They need the gospel. So we are saying, I am saying to you, China, repent. You must repent. You have to repent. Because if you do not repent, you will be turned over into hell. And that is it. That is it. That is it. There's no repentance in the grave. There's no repentance when you stand before the Most High. At that great white throne judgment. There's no repentance there. So now is the time that you have to repent, China. You have to repent. And as I say, the coronavirus, it's in St. Matthew 24 and verse 7, the verse 7 or verse 8. It is a pestilence. It is a plague. Okay? Because Jesus, the Son of God, uh, spoke about this. The Messiah spoke about this uh, to, to us, his people and his disciples. So I just wanted to come to you concerning the coronavirus on this on a biblical biblical perspective and now that I